contest with these two fighters should be a really good matchup. I'm Todd Grisham, and next to me for the broadcast, the one and only Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure. Time for our tale of the tape. The one and only Sergio Martinez. 66 kilos, that's what he weighed in at. 178 centimeters tall with a reach of 185. Oh. Sergio Martinez. He's the former unified middleweight champion of the world and a future Hall of Famer. From the United States of America. Oh, pure bad blood. And with that, let's go into the ring and the Hall of Fame announcer himself, Jimmy Lennon Jr. This... So they stare into each other's eyes one final time, touch gloves and get prepared for battle. So, all the talking's done. Now, let's get down to action. You can tell both of these fighters are exuding confidence as they touch gloves. And here we go. And there's the bell to start the round. Can't find a home with that jab. Just misses with that jab. That big hook doesn't land. I know boxing fans around the world feel like Christmas morning with these two finally in the ring. This is not just hype. We are in for something special tonight. What an arena, what an atmosphere, what a build-up. He misses with that jab. Beautiful counter shot. This has been a very competitive round between these two. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. And try to relax a little bit now. Fight a little differently. This fighter focuses on those long, straight punches, staying on the outside and winning round after round. This is what makes outside fighters so good. Their footwork is second to none. It's the fastest of hands. And at some point, the corner needs to decide we have to protect our fighter. We almost saw a knockout. Of and what a shock. Another clinch. Yeah. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? Dominance, without a doubt, made look so, so easy. They ring the bell, and here we go. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Looks like a little change of strategy here. Trying to loosen up the flow a little bit. Good punch. Looks like he's going to move around the ring a little bit more. Try some stick and move. We've seen this fighter in the past go 12 rounds and not have a mark on their face. That's what happens when you stick and move. You hit and you don't get hit. Do not give an outside fighter time to think. You've got to make the fighter panic. You've got to rush the fighter into doing things they don't normally do. Halfway through the round, I'm not sure who's winning it. 
very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of it. This may do it. It's all coming to an end. And the referee will begin the count. Ten seconds to get up. I don't see any movement here. It looks like this one's going to be over. And there's no doubt about it as we see it again. That body shot did them in. Shot from the gods, they say. A shot from the gods. One, two, three, four, five. They're happy this round's coming to an end. Ten seconds left. punching how many more times is the referee let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown you're being put down you've got to think right survive and then give it back the next we're hoping for an all action slug fest he got knocked down in the last round let's see what he can do here oh, this is if I knock somebody down like that that round you know this round coming out he's getting everything everything full battle because I know his legs are gone so this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Perfect punch. That's another scoring shot. Nice punch. Nice counter shot. We're at the halfway point of this round, and both of these fighters have had their moments. Skill could go either way. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so i got to respect both of them more than happy. So he's going to drop his arms down here. Not sure that's the wisest decision. Threw the uppercut, but did not score. Not so rigid anymore with the stance. Looks like they're going to try and be a little bit... Very close round with 10 seconds to go. They've got the momentum. They've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the tournament's got to put a firecracker on that fight to get out there and get the job done. the bell to start the round last round complete domination let's see what we have in store for us here todd my motto is if it's not broken why change it an excellent last round everything works wait for the reaction until then keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down Here we go with the lightweights. Get ready to see some blazing hand speed and fancy footwork. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've got in the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Nice counter punch. Right? And they got caught. Oh, and that changes everything. And down they go. And it's a one-hitter winner. What a knockout shot. Let's take another look. I've got to see that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
He's back on his feet, but his opponent is licking his chops right now. What resilience to be down and to be back up again, to get yourself back into... Stumbling around in potholes, in serious trouble. And they're down, trying to make it up before 10 as the referee continues the count. Thank goodness we've got instant replay. We get to see it again. I need to see that again. Final 10 seconds here, and the corner is going to have their work cut out for them. A lot of work needs to be done in this corner. Two knockdowns in the last round. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Last round was a disaster. What can they do here to turn this around? I have no idea what they have left. What? How? How do you come back from something like that? Not on twice. How, where's your head at? Where's your energy levels at? It tells you you've got nothing left. The jab doesn't quite connect. Not so tense anymore. Trying to loosen things up. I like it. Fantastic punch. Nice counter shot. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. That punch scores. They miss with the jab. He's going to go with more footwork now. What do you think of that strategy? A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here. They ring the bell, and here we go. That round was complete domination. Let's see if we can shake things up here in this round. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. It's not always about who hits harder. In this division, ring IQ can go a long way. Todd, look back in history. Sugar Ray Leonard against Roberto Duran. The first fight, Sugar Ray Leonard tried to fight, stand there toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. The second fight, he thought, this guy's a dresser. He's nasty. He'll do everything to get the win. I've got to box him. I've got to frustrate him. I've got to humiliate him and show him how good a boxer I am. That's the only way you beat an aggressive fighter. Show your boxing skills. Step out of the way. Don't fight fire with fire. Who's playing, mother boy? All hands on deck. We are witnessing an upset in the making. Oh, and that changes everything. And down they go. Thank goodness we've got instant replay. We get to see it again. A shot from the gods took him out. Many people.
people would have predicted it, but we've got a knockout victory. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. You see shots like that in the gym. At least...